Do you think factory farms would be considered kosher? Yes. Even God, yes. the one you worship, yep. wants what I want. Listen. God thinks eating animals is evil. You don't speak for God in order. God thinks it's evil. No, he doesn't. Look at the camera. No, he doesn't. You're exactly. arguing with, with God, no, basically. I'm not, do not say that. You, you had <laughs> You had animals. You can laugh to the camera all you want. I'm I'm second, I don't know why you're no, struggling. I'm, no, I'm not struggling. So, you're struggling here to understand. You're struggling to so, understand so, so, why so I think question. you know the answer, because I know what you know this, the answer. What is the you know there, there is a difference between somebody slaughtering a cow in an abattoir what is it? and somebody slaughtering somebody on the street is different. You, what is it? I want you to tell me if you know there's a difference between the two. If you're unable to do that, you're being disingenuous. I don't eat either. I'm you're just no trying to. One, yeah. No, I'm not straw yeah. manning it. I'm making an analogy. You're I'm making not an saying you're saying that. Camera, making a straw man. No, I'm and not. You can do this that is, to yourself. This is an analogy. You you're, not you're not following. You're not following. You're not following. You're not following. Don't tell me what I think. Well, that, don't don't okay. blaze over what I think. The way I see them is their livestock, and they're akin to a product that is farmed. Okay. I feel that if the people of South Korea vote to say that it's fine to farm dogs for food, that's their prerogative. Okay. And if they vote to say it's fine to farm humans for food, you're okay with that? The camera's heard you say this a few times. Why do you not eat meat? Which people have been doing so. Because it's wrong. It's, I don't find it wrong. Because they're cows. Well, if I, I personally like a cat more than a dog, can I stab the dog well, to death? It, Possibly breed them, take their babies away, put them in factory farms, and essentially put them in a slaughterhouse mm -hmm. when there's vegan alternatives available. Yes. That's fine? Yes. Morally permissible? Yes. Okay, you don't see an issue with that at all? Moral issue? All right, we're back out here, London Leicester Square. We've got a table here, it says, why aren't you vegan? Pretty simple discussion table. See if we can just uh, have some discussions. We want to talk to the general public and ask why they personally aren't vegan and see where it goes. Maybe lions might be brought up. <laughs> Gideon. Nice Gideon, to meet you. sit down mate. Are you, are you... I'm not going long but I'll, I'll give you as much as I can. Are, are you not vegan? No, I'm not vegan. Okay, and why aren't you vegan? Uh, because I enjoy uh, meat as part of my diet. Oh really? Yeah. Okay, I used to as well. So why do you think someone might be vegan? Because they have moral kind of a dilemma about the life of an animal and they don't believe that sacrificing life now is worth for your sustenance when you can find alternative food sources. Yeah, I mean, I'll, that's I'll, a pretty good description. I'd bring in like animal rights violation, like the violation of their rights. Okay. Like their right to not be enslaved and murdered against their will and things like this. Sure, I think we'll have to have a debate about definition then. Because yeah. murder isn't specifically towards animals, that's towards people. <laughs> Slavery, again, is something which is a word framed for people enslaving other people. Do you want to do definitions there? Um, I think so, yeah. I understand your meaning by it, but with me, there's a clear definition with those words. Well, you might have a definition, but yep. do you want to talk about definitions that apply to animals? Because I can pull a few up if you want. If you'd like to just look at the Collins Dictionary, you're on that now. So you're going to look at uh, what the definition of murder is. To murder someone means to commit the crime of killing them deliberately. To, to murder a person, yeah. To murder someone. To says. someone. So what does that mean, someone? Do you think animals are things? Um, I think they are livestock sometimes. I'm yes. asked if they're things. What do you mean by a thing? So thing is another word which I'm not sure about. The animals have... Do you they think are... they're uh, having their own subjective experience? They have their own experience, yeah. Do you think there's a, a subject experiencing the reality? A subject experiencing the reality. You know, like how an individual having that experience, like... Well, having a conscience, so being yeah, having conscious a... of their experience of feeling yeah. pain. Yeah, like, um, the, yeah. so if I cage an animal and burn them alive, is someone experiencing that pain? Yes, no, I think that's, yeah, so, certainly, that's certainly right. So I they're think... not they're not things, are they? So here we go, uh, this is Collins Dictionary Murderer. To kill brutally? To kill brutally, a person. Okay. Someone. Where, where does it say person then? Well, it is. It's, 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 does it say person? It, uh, generally, yeah. Does that say person though? Uh, to kill brutally. Again, where, where does it say person? It doesn't say person. Okay, so that's one that applies to animals. I've got more. I wouldn't say it applies to animals. I still think the general usage of murder is towards people. So, for example, murder... Uh, here's one. Yeah. To kill inhumanely or barbarously. Again, warfare, yes. But, Who goes to warfare with animals? So, no, it says as in warfare. As in warfare. Yeah, but, as in people but, but not against people. It's not necessarily. So, I mean, again, it's a legal definition. It's here's if another I, one. If I take... I understand what you're trying to say here, um, but we're at a disagreement, and it's not wrong to be disagreeing with somebody. You're disagreeing on a dictionary, but I'm just, I'm just reading a dictionary. No, I'm too. telling you, there's a legal... For example, the legal definition. The legal definition. Yeah, exactly, which applies to humans. So when it says to kill someone brutally, as in warfare. It doesn't say someone. To it kill, says to as kill in brutally. Warfare. It, it says, it, it's, no, 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 that was the second definition. The first thing I showed you said to kill brutally. Do you yeah? think it would be more progressive to probably discuss why that's wrong to kill an animal rather than discuss the word? No, that... but you're, you're bringing up a complaint with the word that I use. And it's I, not and, a I and I. Yeah, you are. You're saying it only applies to humans. And I can pull up about. There's about five definitions well, I think more that apply to animals. So as the well. definition that I'm using is the word murder plus the legal kind of definition of it. Which no, you, yeah, but that's people. the one you're using. Yeah. But you're saying the one I'm using is yeah. wrong. But I, I, I'm I, pulling out dictionary definitions reason, and you're I, saying they're wrong. So no, what, no, who's I'm wrong? The dictionary? I disagree or you, with that. Who's it said, wrong? To murder somebody such as in warfare does not apply to insects. Uh, what about, what about, what about to, to kill brutally? To kill brutally, uh, as in people, but that's all subject to it, it never said. It never said so well, the reason why I draw the definition... We'll put up the definition here, it doesn't say people. Okay, you can pull up the definition. It uh, say no, I'm pulling it up for the people. Yeah, you can yeah, do but that. they can that's look it up. Fine. There's plenty of definitions that apply to... Absolutely. There's also to slay wantonly. To slay wantonly, okay, I understand. And does it say to slay human beings wantonly? 
No, but the point being is the point being is I'm using the legal okay. term here. So you wouldn't go no, say somebody's good. murdered a fine. That might be your definition, yeah. right? And it might there and are and de the there is a definition. legal def there's a legal definition and the implied there are, definition there are also by that de dictionary de definition yeah, and, and the implied and definition. are you saying those dictionary definitions I said it, are wrong? I said it implies that it's a person it doesn't imply it anything does. it, in it my says opinion, to it kill does. brutally it, to kill to brutally as wantingly? in warfare so on and so forth it never, uh, yeah that's another one so but then there's to kill brutally didn't mention humans or animals no, so it can apply to no, both but what do you th and it says to slay wantingly to stay on semantics if you like no I'm trying to get over this because you seem to you're hung up on that what I'm trying to say is I do believe it is wrong to torture animals of course. Can the word torture apply to animals? Torture can apply to anything, yes. Okay, and why can't murder? Because murder is implied for people. Based on what? Based on the legalese of it being but illegal for you to murder somebody. No, no, that's you a legal definition. Are there other def oh, one second, are there other definitions of the word murder that aren't used in a legal context? Uh, the ones that you're using, which takes that word and applies it to animals, I can see why I, I, you're doing no, that. I say it applies to both humans and animals. I would say it no, for me it doesn't. Okay, so so you're denying dictionary definitions now? I'm denying the definition that okay. applies to so, animals, that so applies to people, murder, because murder is used in different connotations. I don't care what, how it's used, I'm oh, saying no, that really. it can be used in both contexts so depending on the definition. you don't care what I think, and I, I actually care about what you think. No, so. I said I don't care how it's used, it can be used in both contexts. So you're saying it only applies to humans, I'm saying there's different di dictionary definitions that also apply to animals, and you're denying because reality. It does, no, I'm not denying reality. That's, I just, that's I just read them out to you, how much more evidence... To to somebody. There's no evidence, it says it implies people. People. So warfare, so kill brutally, via, like such as in warfare. What animals have been killed? Brutally? Who's gone to war with an animal? I just showed you to kill brutally. It doesn't say warfare. So I mean, I'll, I'll put my listen, I'll put my point of view across, Craig. If you can disagree with it all you want, that's absolutely. I'm fine. saying you can definitely so murder my, an animal. Um, position on this is that it does. People, when you say murder, it also crosses over into the legalese where that is a tribal offence so, okay. because it's a criminal offence. So that that falls in. That is strictly tied to people. That's a legal definition. I'm not disputing that. That, yeah. that exists. Yes, that I'm exists. I'm also saying there's other definitions but, that exist. You're disputing them. No, no, it, over, it overlaps, and I'm kind of saying in the what? context of this. So when you ask me... How can you dispute definitions that exist in the dictionary? The words that I use. So when I use the word murder, yeah. I imply it in the dictionary, that's, which is murdering That's what you use it person. for. I've just told you what I use it for. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you're I'm, denying it. But I've got no disagreement with that. It's, I understand it's, why you use that. We've been that. disagreeing, with, with, we've been disagreeing for the last 10 minutes, I dude. understand why you disagree with that decision. I, I think you're trying to make me out like a little bit like I, I don't know what I'm talking about or something with the word murder. Like it applies in both contexts, depending on your definition. I would say uh, someone an abattoir, um, slaughtering cow. Slaughter can apply to humans as well. It can apply to humans, but slaughtering okay. a cow in an abattoir is not murder. That's what I'd, I'd, I'd say. And, and why? Because the murder is a legal term, which is an illegal activity taken no, against another person. That's a legal person. definition, and based on my definitions, is it murder? To kill brutally? To kill brutally an animal. Um, now, brutally depends if it's going to be, you know, humane. Shooting yes. them in the head with a bolt gun and cutting their head off is not brutal? Um, well, after they're dead, cutting their head off and using the meat as actual, you know, uh, oh, is meat it? itself. Is I don't, I don't have an issue with that. Okay. No. I asked you if it was brutal. I didn't ask if you had an issue with it. No, I wouldn't say it's so brutal. So that's not brutal. Not if I did it to a uh, human being, would it be brutal? I'd say there's different standards applied. Yes. No, no. I asked you if it would be brutal to shoot them in the head and cut their head off and eat them. Yes, would that so be brutal? It would be brutal. And why? Why isn't it brutal for animals? Because livestock is a part of humans' um, natural food. So why doesn't that make it brutal? I just want to know why you think it's brutal to cut a human's head off, but not brutal to cut an animal's head off. Because there's different levels. So let's say an animal. So let's say I slap a fly or a mosquito in my room. I'm not talking I, about fly. I'm talking about cow. No, I'm talking about animals. So why, uh, no, can't, no. why, why can't I talk about other animals? Because a, 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 a mosquito a has trivial sentience compared to a cow. Oh, so it depends on the level of sentience. So well, no, I'm asking so you. So where does it start? Does I'm, it start I'm, with worms? I'm just, does it start we with can't cows? Even get to, we can't get to mosquitoes if you haven't even agreed cutting a cow's head off is brutal. I don't think it's brutal, no. Why would we go to mosquitoes if you can't even agree cutting a cow's head off is brutal? Because you said animals. Well, I'm talking about a sl in the slaughterhouse context, obviously. Yeah, I don't think that's brutal, no. Yeah, okay. I think but it's it is brutal for humans. I think it's brutal for humans. And, and what, what, why is it. Uh, well, I think it's What is the characteristic that separates humans and animals? that makes it brutal in one context and not brutal in let the other step context? Back. Let, me, let me step back one second. I think it is brutal to cut head off an animal for no reason but to cut so head off an animal. So now it is brutal, Six. depending on the context? Yes. So if I was to cut a human's head off for food, that would not be brutal? Um, it would be illegal, it would be murder. No, 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 no. no. And it would be I, I didn't ask if it was legal. Take legality out no, of it. We're okay, having, I've made my we're position very... So, look, okay, one second. I don't know why you're struggling No, I'm not struggling. You're struggling here to understand. You're struggling to understand why murdering livestock... In the context of food, in the context of food, it's not brutal to kill livestock. Stock, no, right? it's not. If you cut the head off. But outside that context, it is brutal, right? For people, yes. No, no, you, five seconds ago, you just said outside the context of food, it's brutal to cut the head off a cow, yeah? Yes. 
Okay, so inside the context of food, yes. is it brutal to cut a head off a human? Well, not, people don't eat people. And it's I, no, a, it's, it's a hypothetical. Like, I'm just trying to test your ethical view because I want to see if there's a contradiction, then we can go from there. Okay, absolutely. Okay, so, so in the context of, a, of food, let's just say there's a human being here we're killing for food, yeah. and I cut their head off. That is na no longer brutal now. Yeah, it's no longer brutal because I just send back into the legal, legal definition of murder. That is murder. And that you're killing another person is murder. I just it's, said, it's, don't worry about definition. Well, no, no, we're having no, a moral because, discussion. Because, because, because we're having a moral is, discussion, is, dude. No, no, because there is a special thing over there. Okay. Like murdering another and, and if being. it was illegal to do this to animals, it would then be brutal. No, it's, it, not, it, it's not about it's the not, context. It's not about what the law says. What I'm trying to say is there's a certain thing when it comes to a person murdering another person, which is in itself one thing. That is a thing which is do you know elevated. The, do you know the difference between morality and legality? Yes, I do. Know. Okay, can we have a moral discussion and not a legal discussion? Because obviously okay. animals don't have rights. It's like being in the context of like, so, slavery back in America, those beings didn't no, no, have this, rights, this, and it's not, going, it's, well, it's, 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 it's illegal to it's, enslave it's white people. It's a very basic conversation, one second, which one second, you're, I'm you're just trying straw manning. To, one, yeah. No, I'm not straw manning yeah. it. I'm just, I'm, I'm making an analogy. Did I say that an, slavery was okay because it was legal? You're not following. You're not following. You're not following. Follow. You're not following. Follow. You're saying it's only wrong for humans because it's illegal. I'm saying, let's just say I was having this discussion back in times of slavery, and it's completely legal and fine so to enslave you, black people. One second, I'm just. It's not perfectly I'm making, fine to enslave black people. I'm, I'm not making saying that. A, I'm making an analogy. You're I'm not an saying you're saying that. You're making an analogy for the camera, making a straw man. No, I'm not. You can do this that is, to yourself. This is an analogy. If you want. I'm making an We're analogy. A discussion. Not I'm, here listening to you monologue. I'm, what I'm, making, an, back, I'm right? making an analogy about um, legality versus morality. So, if it's illegal to enslave white people, you can monologue by yourself here. You can. Exactly. Walk away. You can monologue where you want. Well, I'm trying to make a point about legality versus morality. I understand. I know the difference between legality. So, what I'm trying to say is basically, it doesn't matter if it's legal with you right now. I'll tell illegal. you the, the, the issue that I've got with you right now is I've tried from the very beginning to try to make clear precise definitions or anything like that. I believe very <coughs> clearly there you is denied, a difference. You denied the that, definition of murder a, straight to my face there's a, there's so we special, couldn't move forward. There's a special thing when a person kills another person. You don't want to you say what murder. It? Well, it's, it's, it's legal. I'm talking about morality. No, it's dude. not about legalese. I okay. believe on a spiritual and every single okay, so level talk about that a person killing a person is very much well, different from a person killing an animal. Okay, so what is that difference? The Spell difference. it out for me, the moral difference between a human and an animal. One is wrong, yeah. one is not so wrong. So I'll ask you the question. You think that somebody no, murdering... I, you're asking the question, I asked no, you No, but you know the answer because I know what you know this, the answer. What is the You know there, there is a difference between somebody slaughtering a cow in an abattoir... What is it? ...and somebody slaughtering somebody on the street is different. Do you, what is, is it? Is there no difference spell in your mind? Spell out the difference. Is there no difference in your mind? I want you to spell out the difference. I want you to tell me if you know there's a difference between the two. I want you to spell out the difference between humans and animals. If you're unable to do that, you're being disingenuous. I don't eat either. You've invited me to sit down and ask you and have a conversation. So I'm asking a simple question is, do you think there's a difference between slaughtering well, a person I, on the street well, or an animal in abattoir. Well, obviously, I don't eat either. So, obviously, I think there's a consistency here yeah, that but I follow because that's my vegan. But eating you're or the not. One, you're the one no, but eating, who, eating you're, or listen, not. Listen, I'm interested. You're, you're the one who's not vegan here. I'm, in, but I'm you, interested you, to know. You pay for the decapitation of animals I'm and in, not humans. But I'm interested to know. So, you have know. the contradiction, not in, me. And no, you're putting me under fire. No, no, I'm not, you're not under I don't, fire. I don't pay for the decapitation of... from a different point of view. I don't pay for the decapitation of cows. Or humans. Yeah. You you do in one context and not the other. I understand you have the contradiction. That. And I can see why so you think it's a contradiction. To, so you have to spell out but the difference. I would like to know from your point of view, because I've never been a vegan. Spell out the and difference. And you are, so I'd like to know that from you. Is there a difference in your mind of slaughtering a person or slaughtering a cow? I'd he like has to a know. contradiction here. I'm asking a question. If you're not able to do that... Okay, I'll answer your question mm -hmm. because I don't think you can answer it because you think I think it's going to expose the contradiction. That's why you're dodging. Do you think there's a you're difference dodging between by answering... slaughtering a person or slaughtering a cow? Yeah, which is what I asked you. Do, do you value each life equally? <laughs> He's asking my question do, do, back do, to do me. Do you value each life okay. equally? No, I don't value each life equally. Okay, and do you think there should be a definition attached to the difference? What do you mean? You say that there's a difference between there's murdering a, an animal in an abattoir and murdering a person on the street. Well, there are differences between the beings. Yeah. There's a difference between a human being and a cow. Yeah. Okay. But there's no, no less important now, now, that, that event. There's no less serious. Well, no, they, a, a human being is more important than a cow for a myriad of reasons. Right. Right. And it might be their depths of experience, people that care about them that also have a big depth of experience. Yep. I'm saying it's not justifiable to decapitate the cow for a sandwich. Yeah. Right. That's what I'm saying. Okay. I understand. And, I, that. and, I, and, and I'm asking well, you. I respect that. And you, and you're saying it is justified. You're saying it's not justified for humans. I was just trying to find out what the, the morally relevant trait is that makes it. Not okay to kill a human and eat them, but okay to kill the cow. I was asking you to just tell me okay. what that characteristic is. Is it because we're special for some reason? Do we are more intelligent, more spiritual? No, spirit? because um, when it comes to livestock, though they are sentient, the way I see them is they're livestock and they're akin to a product that is farmed. It might sound quite cold and, and, and dead. And that's the difference? Um, that to me would be a massive difference. So if we, of... if we dictate their livestock, they're a product and they're farmed, yeah. 
that is what makes it justified to kill and eat them, even though you know we don't need to. Well, you say you don't need to without supplements. In the modern, modern times, no, we don't need to. You're absolutely right. I understand that completely. Okay. We're, we're right um, now. Basically, essentially, we could we could just apply that rationale mm. to dogs, to chimpanzees, um, to gorillas, yeah. and we can say. Because we dictate that they're a product in their food, we can now decapitate them, put them in factory farms, yeah. decapitate them. No, you're right. It's, it's, it's a definitely... Is, is that it's, okay? It's a contradiction because, I mean, for example, is they it, do farm dogs in um, South Korea, for example. Okay and I don't find that okay. And that's a very interesting thing because that okay. is massively... Uh, it's, okay. it's a contradiction. So we have a contradiction. No, I admit I've got a contradiction in that. Okay, so, but, so that everything. must not be the difference then because you're admitting well, it's, it's very a difficult. No, you're right, it's a contradiction. I, that is... So what is it about the cows that make it okay to kill um, cows? Because it's an established cultural food form which can be okay. farmed. It's Established in, uh, you mentioned Newland. Oh, established cultural, and, historically, and, and things places like that. Like it makes South it Korea, yeah. If it's established culturally to kill and eat dogs, is that okay then? Well, it depends. Now, this is, I would say, if there's a general consensus in South Korea. Just asking you. The, this is your morality, not theirs. I'm asking you, is it okay? If it's established, so if, that I had in, if, if I had power to stop it, to tell the South Koreans this is wrong, I'm stopping you doing it, would I do it? Is that the question? No, I'm asking you, do you think it's wrong? You're saying it's right because in the cow context, it's established culturally and yep. we dictate that they're food and we farm them and their products. Yep. In the context of farming dogs, yep. it's established culturally, they've dictated their food and products. Yep. Is, it, is it wrong in this context and still right in this no, context? I would, I mean, in my mind, I wouldn't do it, but if the general consensus of the South okay, Korean no, no, people... That's all I care. No, I'm going to give you an answer. Yeah, in the South Korean you, people... I want to know about you, that's I'm, all. Yeah, I'm telling you, this is how I feel. Okay. I feel that if the people of South Korea vote to say that it's fine to farm dogs for food, that's their prerogative. Okay. And if they vote to say it's fine to farm humans for food, you're okay with that? But that's different because we've already established with this conversation no. that you find it different. No, no, I, I want to know. You find it, you said for a, for a reason, a plethora no, of reasons, no. people are elevated above animals. You yeah, said that, that to me. I, but I said it doesn't justify stabbing cows to death. No, but You're saying it does. I'm saying it doesn't. I'm acknowledging that there's a difference between us. Yeah. I'm saying that difference doesn't justify stabbing cows. Yeah. I put it back on you. You're yep. saying that difference does justify stabbing cows. Yeah? I think, yeah. And now I put it in the in the dog context and you're not comfortable with that, which no, is I, a contradiction. It's, 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 yeah, it's a contradiction. It's, I agree with that's a contradiction. contradiction. Yeah. And then, and you said if they all vote, that it's okay to kill the dogs, therefore it's okay. So might makes right. If we all vote that it's okay to... Well, no, to, I understand what you're going to If we all vote, if there's a minority... The camera's heard you say this a few times. If there's a minority in this country, and we all vote, if the majority vote to kill that minority, does that make it okay? Okay, it doesn't... Also, okay is subjective based on needs do, needs must. So at the moment, you don't need to eat meat because you can perfectly bounce your diet out, you can take the supplements if you need them, and you can live a healthy life without injuring any animals whatsoever. If this situation was different, where you'd actually require me as a part of a diet for you to live and your family to live that you might have a different answer there so it's not as so who cares so who cares about what who cares about a situation that doesn't exist situations do exist around well, the world no, where it's I'm part of a healthy me. diet I'm you sitting here right now no, but I'm just saying that, so it's not a f so you right now it's not you can 100 live percent anything because <laughs> you're saying it if, depends. if it were the case that you needed to what you would be different wouldn't you well, no, yeah, so well, would you, maybe I'd be not in civilization or something no, but be, so uh, would you if, if so, these so do needs must my, I'm would asking do. you in this situation right now sitting here in yeah. civilization in the UK yeah. what is your justification to do this to cows when you you have a double standard for other animals and human beings because it's part of the food it's part of my food source it's uh, part of um, culturally accepted and I know you, know you say if we vote for this sort of thing it's we already part, went over this so you're repeating also, arguments we've already discussed. No, but it's also culture to be, choose to be a vegan as well. Where did this come from? Why do you not eat meat, which people have been doing so? Because it's wrong. It's, I don't find it wrong. Because they're cows. But if I replace the cows with dogs, all of a sudden you've got a problem. Well, no, I wouldn't want to eat a dog because I've got an affinity with a certain animal. Yeah, and do you think that's a morally relevant trait that no, justifies I, I stabbing think, one animal? I, if I personally like a cat more than a dog, can I stab the dog well, to death? It's a personal choice though, isn't it? Some people would eat fish, some people personal would eat eggs, some people would... Personal choice of people what yeah, they it's eat. It's personal choice to go out and gun down people too. Um, I don't think it's so personal when other people are getting murdered. So with it, someone but. who's a pescatarian, would you argue that's as, as, as bad as somebody who's just got full range I'm of I'm asking you, you eat cows. Well, I'm trying to, yeah, of course I do. But yeah. I'm trying to work you out can't what, even what's... get off cows, so no, why are we I'll talking about other cows. people? Because I'm trying to work out where, where the buck starts and stops with you. You're asking me for consistency, but you will, you have, Clear contradictions here. No, right? The fact that I won't eat a dog because it's not well. Number you're, one, if, if I, I you're need to me for, you see how you're trying to find inconsistencies no, in my there's world. There's a here. reason why I won't eat dogs but, as there's well. There's a clear contradiction in yours. Oh, there's a contradiction. We, can't, we haven't even got cows yet, and you want to go to work. But, but certain animals I won't eat. I won't eat worms, not because I, I, I don't find. Do you think that, uh, certain animals you feel like it's wrong to eat? Well, if you ask me on a spiritual level, yes, because I'm a religious kind of guy, and I'll follow the teachings of my religion. What's to your do religion? So. I'm Jewish. Okay. 
And um, so I wouldn't eat dogs. It's not kosher. But okay. also, we talk. Well, I've, I've not brought that up because that's not the be all and end all. Also, is I, that why you think humans are special? Um, I think people are special. Yeah. Well, is it because God created us? What you believe is up to you completely. Yeah, because I want to know yeah. why you why you would destine a cow to a slaughterhouse. What about? Well, so uh, it doesn't mention form. anything about gorillas in your um in your religion. In the toilet, no. Do you think it's morally okay or permissible yeah. for me to to get gorillas? forcibly breed them, take their babies away, put them in factory farms and essentially put them in a slaughterhouse, mm -hmm. the same slaughterhouse that cows go to, for example, so I can just eat their flesh when there's vegan alternatives available. Yes. That's fine? Yes. Morally permissible? Yes. Okay, you don't see an issue with that at all? Moral no. issue? Okay. Go. I don't see a moral issue with farming of dogs either. They do farm dogs in um, South Korea, for is example, okay and I don't find that okay. And that's a very interesting thing because that okay. is massively, uh, it's, okay. it's a contradiction. So we have a contradiction. No, here. I admit I've got a contradiction in that. So yeah, now you don't have a moral not. issue with farming dogs? No, I don't. Okay. I think, I, okay. I mean, I, I wouldn't eat them myself because I like dogs. So like in Yulin, uh, they take the dogs, they boil them, they boil them alive. Is but that fine? Causing unnecessary pain is No, that's thing. not unnecessary because they do it because it makes the, the flesh uh, taste better. No, that's that's torturing the So it's, ne it's necessary for them to get pleasure out of it. I don't know. Which, which, which is horrific. I wouldn't agree. Why is it horrific? You don't care about animals. animals. We're, we're better no, no, than animals. Who said I don't care about animals? You said you don't care about uh, gorillas being factory already, farmed. Have you seen what? A, do you know what a factory farm is? Um, no, I don't. Okay, um, well, they put them in uh, small cages. Yeah. Um, they're called like a farrowing crate. They might put them in a cage. They yeah. separate their babies. They often mutilate them. Yeah. Um, they're, kept, they're kept imprisoned in confinement up and, and they make them grow really fast and they yeah. often get like a certain, uh, you know, lameness or things like that. And then they go down a kill floor and get decapitated. Yeah. You, th you think all that's fine for, for no, gorillas? I, I, well, first of all, I would know about factory farming, how it works. So that, I don't believe causing unnecessary suffering to any creature is right. <laughs> so why do you think... Um, I know it's difficult because why I, think, ultimately what, I will want to put a bolt in some... What do you mean by necessary? Well, a quick, a quick death. Do you well, eat chickens? What? Yes, of course. Where, where do you think they come from? Uh, they come from batteries. A lot of them do. Is that unless unnecessary it, suffering? Well, that's the farming, how, how you can farm so many chickens to meet the demands. That I don't know. It's, I don't know what you mean by the word necessary. Do you mean like needed? I mean, for example, boarding something alive. That you can simply slaughter an animal without having to do that. And but then, they're doing it for pleasure. I mean, why, did, why else do you eat meat? Because you like the taste? Because you like the taste, and it's a part of my balanced diet as well, yeah. Yeah, so they're doing it because they like, they're, they're just generating more pleasure out of eating the, the dog. Mm. So you know, I mean, who, who are you to say what's necessary and unnecessary? Exactly, and who are you to say that as well? I'm someone who cares about the, the rights of sentient animals. Mm. I'm just trying to find out where you fit in this. Yeah. You, you're saying it's wrong to boil dogs alive, it's okay to factory farm gorillas, well, no, it's no, wrong it's, well, to put see, cows that's in the... No. This, it's this, this, step, step back. Don't tell me what I think. Well, that, don't don't okay. blaze over what I think. Flashback. Do you think it's morally okay for me to, to get gorillas, forcibly breed them, take their babies away, put them in factory farms, and essentially put them in a slaughterhouse? Mm -hmm. That's fine? Yes. Morally permissible? Yes. Okay, you don't see an issue with that at all? Moral no. issue? Okay. End of flashback. Well, we're, once, we're recording it. Yeah, of so, course you are. So yeah, once you went over the actual segments of what they do to factory farm a gorilla in that way, I'd think that's unnecessary suffering and I would disagree with that. Of course I would do. So why do you eat chickens if you believe factory farming is unnecessary suffering? Well, it depends. The way you so said that they put them in cages, they torture them, they well, put them on they put the pigs floor. in farrowing crates with yeah, their pigs. Yeah, I don't eat pigs, yeah. But chickens are kept in big large sheds about you know between 20 and 50 thousand in a shed yeah and they're they're growing so fast they can't support their own body weight and a lot of them die on their faces in the farms yeah. and they get thrown into crates and get sent to a slaughterhouse well, to be gassed. I, would, I would be a proponent of any way possible which is feasible to make sure some animals do not suffer in that sort of way i don't want animals to suffer to be on my plate i understand that i don't mind them being slaughtered i've got no problem with taking out a shotgun shooting an animal peeling it taking the organs out and cooking it. i've got no issues with that whatsoever why not i've got no issues because it's part of my food it's part of diet. So, I mean, no, but it's not. It's not a. It's, it's, it's not it's, a needed part me, of your diet, is it? It is. I mean, so I only take supplements, and you don't want to take supplements, so you'd rather decapitate animals. I don't want to take them. supplements, and you also have many studies which I don't actually know because I'm not actually. Yeah, I don't want to pull out the science, mate, because uh, unless we're going to go through data here, it's probably. Okay, not. but I mean, are you aware of any problems with kinds of um, Alzheimer's and things like that? People on vegan diets for long periods of time. No, I've heard saturated fat can affect mm. the, the small vessels in your um, in your that brain, and that no, vegan think, diets have lower saturated I mean, fat and cholesterol. But yeah. so, so one, you don't want to support suffering. No, un unneeded suffering. Because obviously, so killing something is going to okay. make it suffer. So in being a bolt so something said is, is we've got you off of uh, dairy, eggs, fish, chicken. You haven't got me off any of that. Yeah, yeah. Well, we have because they they all entail egregious suffering for all these animals. Do you live here in the UK? I do live in the UK. Okay, so these the industries here in the UK they all have egregious elements of suffering that are yeah. needless. So I mean. 
rather than saying stop it right now, um, which I, which is your which is what you want to do, so you want to get you to be vegan because you have you care. Which I'm just is saying that. Well, how do you justify personally not being vegan when you don't want there to how be you, how, uh, unnecessary suffering? How, how would you make the system better so there wasn't so much unnecessary? Just suffering? boycott it, destroy it. In order to meet the demand, you have to mass breed these animals and put them in these conditions in order to so every single person here now, eight billion people on Earth, want meat, cheese, milk, eggs, and they're living in a fairy tale land, thinking they just live on the grass and then they get a nice painless death and then they end up in the supermarket. Yeah, and the actual but, reality of it is a very painful, horrific well, it's, thing. If you can agree that that's horrific at least, then you, you at least have to uh, agree that boycotting that is a morally preferable, preferable thing to do. Well, yes, I can see where you'd come from there. I'd say that meat is a part of the human food source and it's also, I know it's a choice, that you can now, nowadays, with supplements, things like that, live a very healthy life. So what do, you, what do you think I'm supplementing each day? B12, maybe. So? Yeah. I mean, B12, let's talk about B12, because that's one of the ones that we should supplement, no, but, right? I mean, can, I, can I just stop one for one second? Yeah. Um, this has been rather heated, which is actually, I've enjoyed the conversation. Yeah. I've learned a lot, because I don't actually think about these things, and how it ends up in my plate, and I can thank you for that. I also do very much respect you and your position. I do respect vegans as well, who, yeah. who, who, who stick by their moral compass and say that this is absolutely wrong. What I'd like you to understand from my perspective is, yes, if you put down a picture of a cow being shot, it's, it's, it's an horrific thing, but it's, I accept it as part of the culture, and part of my food source, and part of the farming process. And people have been doing this for... I don't care how long someone's done something No, but for, that, that's why I respect I mean, that doesn't you're doesn't make very, it okay after yeah, time. I think it's just a part of the human experience and also I mean, part of being an omnivore. That doesn't sound like a moral justifier. I think it's omnivorous. It doesn't I think, sound I'm, like, I mean, I'm on, yeah. omnivorous, I want to eat humans, who cares? I mean, does the fact that I'm a natural omnivore, opportunistic eater in nature yeah. justify killing people and eating them? Well, it doesn't, but you've already, we've already had this conversation where you think there's, there's, there's two different things based on no, the No, I, I said, look, listen, I clearly said, even though I think some human life is more valuable than animal life, I don't yeah. think all human life is more valuable. I think some humans are scum and they deserve to, to rot. Well, that's not for you to say, but I, uh, I would agree in part. Well, yeah, well, yeah, well, you know, there's a lot of evil people in the world. But I'm just saying, if you talk like an, a, a normal human being, they, they're just like an average human that's not going to be causing a, a bunch of needless killing over their life. You talk a, a normal human, normal cow, all things held equal. Yeah. Yes, the, the human is more important because of their depth of experience, and I care about sentience, right? Now, I didn't say just because one's more important, therefore a cow is less important than my taste buds or being stabbed in the throat in a slaughterhouse and killed. Yep. It just might mean that they, they have different needs. So therefore they both deserve a right not to be, to be murdered, yep. but a human might have a little bit more over the cow yep. just because of their experience, right? And that's why you can choose to be vegan a, because you- And then you, you, you have you, a mosquito, you, yeah. Yeah. which is down here, yeah. which will bite you and give you malaria, yeah. which I don't give, give a shit about because they're just like trivial sentience. They, yeah. they have barely enough to, know where they are. Yeah. But the cow, we're talking about a cow's on par with a human child. Okay, well, I, I wouldn't think that, but I can understand Well, like a three-year-old child. No, when you don't have to think of it, they're just as intelligent. Well, no, I, I, I raise people above uh, livestock and animals. I, I, I do, I think, um, I won't go into the spiritual side of things at all, because there's no point discussing that. Um, I, I do we think... can talk about why you think humans deserve to stab animals to death for a sandwich, while, well, we're, the, while we're so, like, important. There's a lot of things to be said about that. I mean, animals across the world obviously being slaughtered en masse for food, there's that. There's uh, other animals which are obviously kept as pets. We are in care of them. Do you have and dominion in the Torah? Dominion over that animals. God gave us dominion over that, animals? That's, yes. Do you think dominion means to selectively breed them, mass enslave them, and then decapitate them all for a sandwich? Um, Do you think that's what dominion means? So we're talking about Torah, so we're talking about 2000 years ago. We're not talking about when they had exactly. supplements and things like and, that. And you're not talking about when they had this amount of people on Earth where they needed to meet the demand with factories. Yes, yeah. I think there's, I think, I mean, I've, I've consciously recently tried to eat a lot less meat, but only because for health reasons and things like that, I've chosen that's not to. You seemed unsure about the healthy nature of a plant-based diet. No, I think that you can't, you can't be eating steak for every single meal and be healthy. But that, why I thought if God made it animals to be eaten, why can't you just eat infinite amounts of it? Well, there's a lot of things that were omnivorous. So there's lots of things you can have. You can eat, you can't drink too much water. That's poisonous. Yeah, I get so you. Why, so if we're allowed to drink water, why can't we just drink 50 litres a second? Yeah, that's a because good point. Because you'll die. I mean, that's a good point, but I mean... Like, it's, just it's, in, it's balanced. It's, but, part, it's part of a balanced, balanced diet, unless you choose not to, and you have that with supplements, then you can choose not to. So yeah, the, I mean, the, the you keep saying supplements. I don't supplement much, dude. Like, I mean, mm. uh, you keep saying, oh, I have to have all these supplements. It's like vitamin D, Three in a cloudy country and B12 and then a decent no, that, uh, array and, and of food. You choose them. People choose to get that from me as a part of a balanced diet, and I've got no issues. Do you that. supplement B, uh, vitamin D3 in England? No. So if you care about supplementing, you should be getting vitamin D. People keep screaming supplements as soon as I ask them to stop cutting animals' heads off, but so, it seems like they're not really that focused the moment, on their health 
and two us. Between the two of us, between one place and another, it's very, very solidified arguments. Um, I, I'm coming towards you um, based on what you've said. Um, I, what you've said also, especially the scalability of it. Now, if there are more people on this planet, and to scale up production would increase suffering, would increase, make the conditions even worse than they are now, which you've informed me. I know, aware of that. Um, I would start coming around to your side a lot more. It's, I think as being scaled up now, it's pretty bad. It's 80 billion um, land animals slaughtered every year, yeah. and then we've got between one and three trillion marine animals. You're making very good points, and, and very then, well. I don't know yeah. what it says in the Torah about causing animal suffering, but I know they have kosher guidelines, and oh, they yeah, might be yeah, similar no, to yeah, halal. There, there's, now, you can't cause animal suffering. Um, you oh, can okay. eat off a, well, you, then, can't, you can't shoot an animal. That wouldn't be kosher, for example. As we, yeah, you have um, to gash their throat it, open in, with in a sharp a, knife. In a certain way. I've yeah, seen it. Them, yeah. I've seen it, and it's, uh, it causes them about a minute worth of suffering to death. Mm. Have you seen kosher slaughter? Yes. You watch it. What do you think? Um, I think it's it's lots it's lots of livestock you think it's for good? food. Um, it produces food. And I don't so, think there's any problem with it. No. Okay. If you are religious, I don't know how religious you are, because it seems to me like someone who's a pretty devout Jewish person would have brought these arguments up at the forefront of the discussion, not yeah. at the end. That's the, I mean, I want to engage you with logic and good arguments. Um, yeah, spiritual yeah. thing is for me, it's hard, and I can't put that on anybody else. No, but that's um, fine. I, mean, I just want to know why you believe what you believe, yeah. and how you think those beliefs because justify I, yeah. the, the conventional so, animal agriculture to start, because yeah. you wouldn't be eating out of the, like I said, chickens, eggs, yep. dairy. You wouldn't be eating out of those places if you cared about causing animal suffering. Yeah. So it, obviously, killing, as I said, it's killing, killing an animal, uh, a minute suffering, things like that. For you, that's far too much. In fact, any foot, just putting a bolt because, on a No, the, your religion, yeah. the Torah, was written 2,000 years ago before they had factory farms. So, more than okay. 2,000 years, about 5,000 years. So now the guidelines so. about what is uh, kosher to eat, yeah. when they were written around the same time? They'll be, yeah, the Torah be, okay. it says very clearly what you can eat, okay. what you can't now, eat. Imagine, now, the slaughtering is more Talmud. Imagine so more these so. guidelines being written today. Yeah. Do you think factory farms would be considered kosher? Yes. So what does it specifically say about suffering? Like, okay, so it's very complicated. There are many books written in the Talmud about what makes uh, slaughtering kosher or not. I'm not worst on that. And we not are slaughtering. Talking... I'm just talking about how you ought to treat animals yeah. so before slaughter. I, I do. I don't know about how to treat animals before slaughter. That there will be something about how. I mean, I, I don't know. That's the simple answer. It's very complicated. There's but a they would have something written. in there about causing. There'll be conversations. Suffering. There'll be conversations about suffering. I don't know that. I can't give that to you now. Okay. There will be something there, and it's something that I'd very happily read up on. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, it's your religion. Well, I've studied uh, lots of it. I, I mean, mean if, if it's your religion and you're eating animals, wouldn't yeah. you want to know like what is in alignment with God's wish? Yeah, but that, I would have asked these questions that, that, uh, so myself. It's been done, and it's that's how they slaughter it in a kosher way. It's prohibited way. to cause pain to animals. Yeah, outside uh, the established it say way that. of. Um, well, Listen, you can't understand the full Talmud on how to slaughter animals, how to have it, kosher meat, based on a two-second conversation. I'm not going to get into that with you. Do you think it's permissible to cause pain to animals inside a factory farm for food? Inside a factory farm causing pain, you'd have to kind of clear that up, unpack that a little bit. So going in, kicking well, what them do you, first, What does your intuition say about... About. Well, suffering again, it depends because they're going to be ultimately slaughtered for food, so that's suffering involved there. They're going to be kept in pens pre um, slaughtering, which will be obviously causing a form of suffering there. Uh -huh. so, and uh, would that be kosher? Yes. Of course. No. Factory farms are kosher then? No, no. The kosher slaughtering. I, I'm not talking about slaughtering, I'm just talking about what happens to them in the farm. Well, I don't know. I mean, you, I, you're jumping to no, slaughter. No, no, these are great questions. I know what kosher slaughter is. These are something for a, for a, for a rabbit. This is okay, very. This is your religion, yeah. and yes. this is how you're basing your morality, a lot of it? Yes. Okay, so don't you want to know? No, I, I, I want to know. Look it up in the television. Fishing industry, mass industrial fishing industry exists today, right? Yeah. yeah. My argument is that yeah. these guidelines were written 5,000 years ago. Mm. There was no factory farms back then. Yeah. Now we have this abomination called factory farming where yeah. most of your food is coming from, well, it's statistically. It's a very good point. And uh, we didn't have the dairy industry that back then. They might have had one goat that they're taking some milk from. Yeah. Now we have the industry where they're impregnating cows, taking their calves, killing the calves, causing the, ca the cow suffering, uh, selectively bred animals that can't support their own body weight, and they have producing all this milk. Like, this here is nothing close to how God created these animals. These are human selectively bred animals bred to suffer. Yeah. All for human greed, because it's not need. Okay. Because we have given plants as well. Yep. Do you have the Garden of Eden in? in Garden Eden. Yeah. The Garden of Garden Eden. Garden Eden. Yeah. Okay. The Garden of Eden was completely vegan, right? Yep. I give you seed-bearing plant, and they be yours for food. Yep. Yeah. And do you have the same Isaiah 11:6? Is it same Christianity? Is that the lion will lie down with the lamb? Uh, yes, the, but it's translated. The lion will you know, eat straw like the ox. It's, 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 it's translated differently, and, uh, but yeah, along and the, the same sort of lines. Okay. Yeah. So God even wants animals to be vegan. Okay, well, so I understand where you're coming from. There's God, a lot no, no, does God yeah. want animals to be vegan? Does God know? 
leopard, the wolf will dwell with the lamb, the leopard will lie down with the kid, the calf and the lion and the ox together, and the small child would lead them. That's this, in Ulam Haba. This is all that's the animals the living in peace and that's basically not harming yeah. each other. Yeah, so, yeah. that's Ulam Haba. That's the per okay. purpose to be. But that so, can't happen so even God wants that. No, until, even no, God wants what I want. You need Mashiach for that to happen. Uh, if you're talking uh, about a religious concept, you need Mashiach. I mean, Mashiach. Uh, even God wants that when, to happen. When Mashiach comes. That's, if you're talking about the religious concepts, when Why not Mashiach now? Comes. If you're talking about God, we're talking about scripture, and that's what I it mean, says. So that, that's that's the end of that conversation. But, but I'm reaching... God on, wants that, though. I'm reaching on a human level. Why would level. God want the, the, the wolf to lay down with the lamb? Well, and you were using nature as an argument before. To, to, to end no, It's natural to eat animals, animals eat animals, but God doesn't even want this. It does. No, he does until Mashiach. Then it's a lamb of Then that's all going God wants sin to. Uh, God thinks eating animals is, is even evil. Um, I wouldn't agree with that, but I can see. Then why would that be perfect paradise? Why would the perfect paradise be? be well, to end all, the lamb will lie down with the lion, so lions are no longer carnivorous. You can start feeding it at lions all you want, a carnivorous animals, no, any carnivorous animals, that just God, vegetables. Even God that's has a not. Like that's this. not painless. That is going to be painful for is that God's animal. Vision, so this, I'm explaining to you. You've asked me a question. To... And allow me to answer it. Yeah. The question is, you said, is that going to be? Painless. That is, that is, uh, the answer is no, it's not. As it is now, without Mashiach, without Alam Haba, or returning to Gan Eden, or any of those thought processes, right now, to give a carnivorous animal anything but me will be painful I'm not to them. Saying so that that, dude. Pain. But I'm, I'm not saying I'm that, dude. I'm just saying, that. principally, yeah. philosophically, yeah. even God, yes. the one you worship, yep. wants what I want. The perfect so paradise is when was carnivorous what animals I want. don't eat meat, and they do. And, and, <laughs> and you're arguing with, with God, no, basically. I'm not, do you not say that? Again, in Gan Eden, you, you, had, <laughs> you had animals. You can laugh to the camera all you want. I'm not laughing. You had animals who were carnivorous now who did not Are eat meat at the time. Are you carnivorous? I'm omnivorous. So you have a choice, right? No, but I've, listen, I've got you, a choice. Do you have a choice? I have a choice. A lion doesn't have a eat. choice, right? A lion but doesn't you have, have a choice. choice. But no, you, you, sorry, don't, don't, don't move the goalpost. Just saying, you, you have a choice. You were saying doesn't. that you, we should, God wants this because the area in the Gan Eden, or everyone, no one was, you know, no one was meat eater, everyone it's was pretty vegetarian. Clear what God wants. Um, that's your perspective. God doesn't want you, to, a carnivorous per, creature, to eat vegetables. That's not, not that's not what they were made for. When Mashiach comes, God things, literally he, does. He literally does. I read this in Isaiah eleven six. He doesn't. He doesn't. Literally wants the, lion, uh, the wolf to lay down with the lamb. When Mashiach comes and backs again, and things okay, are different. But, so then. God does want that. Well, when Mashiach comes, okay. In Olam why not now? In, because, why not you because, now? Because it's Olam, me, uh, all I'm me, saying is, that, yeah. all I'm saying is, what, what is this word you keep saying? Mish, what does this mean? The Messiah. Mashiach. What is it? When the Messiah comes. Yeah, Mashiach. And what 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 would be different about when the Messiah comes well, in then, terms of? It, would this be a perfect paradise? This would be. Would this be when evil leaves the earth? Alam when evil leaves the earth? Alam Haba, yeah. So you're admitting that God thinks eating animals is evil. No, but I've explained Does to you. In the context of that, I've explained to you. You can't. I've, I've, I've explained to you in the same way again. It's not evil that a lion eats meat. God thinks it's evil. I'm he saying. Doesn't. Well, he doesn't, and you don't speak for God in order. God thinks it's evil. Well, he doesn't. Look at the camera. No, he doesn't. Then, so, then what is this uh, when the Messiah comes? This is so, when it. So a lava bulk, so the idea is that we turn to paradise such as Gandhi. So it'll be paradise when the lions don't eat meat. So it's not paradise now. Well no. Okay, so it's mm. bad now, in no. God's eyes. In, no, no, it's not bad. So what is it? He called it evil. It's but called evil in the Bible. It's not I don't evil. know what the Torah so is, but you, it's you, called you, evil in the know, Bible. You know in the Torah it does say men animals, you know, men have dominion over animals and they're used for food, and it tells you exactly how to prepare them. Also, if you look in the Torah, it tells you what you need to do, including ritual slaughtering in the temple when you sin, and you have to bring yeah, certain animals to that. Factory farming does not um, lead to that, mate. So that, no, this no, is, no, this okay, so, so this now we're talking about factory farming. This is exploitation of God's fun, no, uh, uh, creation. No, I understand, but I'm not going to speak it This is mass suffering. This is mass suffering. I know you believe it's mass suffering. No, I don't believe it is. It's objectively true. Well, I don't think it's objectively true. So you don't think factory farming is mass suffering? I think the slaughter of animals for food... Is factory farming mass is suffering? Factory farming in certain conditions, when you torture animals, yes. The no, actual, just in its actual condition I now. think, listen, I am not an expert on factory farming, okay, but I'm telling I you am. that this, I know, I'm not, I know you are, and you have a lot to tell me about that, and you've told me very interesting things, but I'm saying the slaughtering of animals, to so eating of them, that is morally absolutely fine. God literally thinks it's evil for not, animals you're to not eat telling me what the, You're not telling me what God thinks, I'm telling you, that's where we, that's where we, uh, log ahead. So we, we're going around the surface. Really, no, no, I'm just I, telling I, you I what it says in Isaiah 11.6. No, I appreciate your time. But anyway, I wanted to have a religious discussion because uh, I think it's in, in Incredibly uh, interesting how vegans live how it was in the Garden of Eden and how it will be in the perfect God's perfect paradise. Yeah, but right? all animals don't. Uh, uh, other uh, animals don't. But, but other animals don't. I don't care what other, other animals rape you don't each care other. About in animals. Other animals rape each other in nature. Do, would you follow that? What the other animals do? No, no, I'm saying I'd follow do, that. Do other animals rape each other in nature? I'm, you're talking about all animals. Do other animals rape each being other in nature? Equal in no, do lions rape each other in nature? Do they eat each other's young? Yes. Okay. Do, do you what follow what the lions do? 
And which one would you follow? What the lions do? Would you follow? You, you want to follow one thing? The animal. You want to follow the things the animals do. No, you're just. What well, you're animals saying? Do. Animals eat each other. They no, rape I'm each saying, other. I'm not saying. God admits that it's I mean, not you good. Can, you can listen. I'm not being steamrolled. Okay. I'm telling you quite clearly that animals have those traits naturally within the world that we live in. They rape each now. other. So who gives a? Yeah. They rape each other. Who gives a shit about what? The animals? I'm saying they they rape each other, so who gives a shit in terms of how we should dictate our morality, how we should act? Don't We shouldn't look to nature to, to dictate our morality in civilization. You keep using... No, I, I believe it's now, a choice. So, now, but God... Yeah. Now, God... Oh, I was just bringing up God because yeah. Isaiah 11.6, yeah. right? It's, it's, and the Garden of Eden. That's why I was bringing it up, because yeah, you're we, religious. We, we, we right? can that stuff, and but... I, I, I don't believe yeah. in religions. I don't. Yeah. Be, I might believe in God. I might believe there's a creator. I don't believe in Christianity, yeah. uh, Judaism, all the Abrahamic religions, yeah. personally, because I think there's... Something going on there that I don't agree with, right? No, I understand. But that. that's personal I mean, choice. if we want to, to leverage God and, and you believe God is the no, dictator I'm not, I'm, of morality, no, I'm not, no, I'm not leveraging God. I, my arguments always God is started the creator of morality. Yeah? My, my arguments always started away from that sort of thing. Yeah. It was based on a cultural yeah. and kind of a physiological need for me, which has now morphed into something which you've now described as a kind of industrial, torturous, awful kind of animal, which you want we, to. And we don't have a phys- we don't have a physiological need for it. No. We have a physiological need for nutrients, and I think now that God's earth is being destroyed by factory farming and the the amount of suffering and killing it's causing, it's the morally right thing to do to avoid these systems. Now, if we see that the earth going down the sh** with animals dying in infinite suffering in factory farms, and we start trying to justify and justify our consumption, which has got nothing to do with anything but taste yeah. and maybe, I don't know, a misinterpretation of like what you need. Yeah. I, I'd be trying everything to get these so, supplements to stop supporting it because that doesn't look like anything so, God created. I'll put this because I really, really must go. Listen, okay. first of all, I appreciate your time. Secondly, you have definitely made me think and the reason was I've always thought there's a wall here between what people do and our food, where animals come from. And when you make me look at that very closely, yes, there is a glint of, oh, I'm, I'm a bit shaky and there's definitely a moral quandary there. Um, and it's very thought-provoking. Um, I'm not going to be converted within a day, but so I, 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 I really understand where you're coming from. I think we got off the wrong it. foot because I didn't yeah. know whether you were serious or not. Because I get a lot of people who are not serious, oh, no, and, then, no. and, and, and you seem serious. But yeah. then when we stuck on definitions, and I'm yeah. showing them, and they're going, "No, that's not right," and yes, that's not. I, I think the semantics thing got me off on the wrong foot too. Mm. I, uh, I think you're very eloquent in the way that you put your argument across, okay. and I think you've made very, very good points. Right. I'm also somebody who I don't think I've had as much practice as you, but I'm decent with the conversation, uh, and I try to push back when I'm pushed out. I think we've been both guilty of that. I think maybe it's just a, maybe we both, you're not as aware of what's going on as me. No, I'm not. So I have that in the back of no. my mind when, mind and when you're saying things. If and you're you an animal lover it. and you've been watching videos of animals being tortured and murdered, ripped apart, boiled alive, you would have a lot of anger and justified anger for that. And I'm kind of, I'm not very aware of that. Well, it's at the back of my mind. I've never looked into it. So that's maybe where... Maybe you should. Maybe I should. Do. Maybe you should no, look I think, into... And I think it's a fair point. And I think where my food comes from is very important. I've always been aware that it's more than that red thing that you see on the shelf. Um, and it's something that I will look into. Slaughterhouses are in closed doors, mm. right? Now, uh, I believe that these guidelines were for people who had maybe some animals out there in their village at the back and yeah. these weren't for slaughterhouses operating in mass production in yeah. closed doors and, and religious individuals yeah. like to look back to the old way no, I'm not, and think I'm, that I mean, this is happening now. Be frank, be frank, I'm not that What I think is a good idea I and mean, I think it's a great idea is that even though people might be living in denial about how their food ends up on their plate I think this needs to be if you if you put across the way you put it across to me to most people here right now that the food that you're eating, right now, the chicken you're having for dinner tonight, this is the situation they've, they're, they're going through, this is the pain that they're going through, look at this, see this, a lot of people, not all, would probably come to your side and would actually stop eating meat. You'd be very surprised actually, I've been doing this for nearly 10 years, I suppose, yeah. been vegan nearly 10 years, been on the street for 8, some people just don't give a That's shit. not me. Now, now, I think you do care. Mm because otherwise we couldn't have a productive conversation. People are, that don't care, I can't even get them to... I mean, you, I think that when you said, I don't care about this, I don't care about that, you did say that about dogs and about gorillas. I don't think you well, think, knew the gravity of what you were saying I mean, before you said it. It's, it's, I mean, when I was saying that, I was talking about, as I said, I wouldn't eat a dog myself, but do other people have the right to eat a dog? At the time, I was thinking, yeah, they, 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 they might yeah. do, and that's your conversation my, with uh, them. My argument is the dog should yeah. have rights for them not to do that. Don't understand. Now, now, so, I think you do care enough for us to have a productive conversation and for us to lead through some logic and you have some, you have a moral system that I don't think you've quite thought through when it comes to animals maybe. I understand. So you need need some time to jumble things around and get it consistent. But that's all uh, no, but part I'll, of the process. I'll always be persuaded by a good argument and good and good points. You made a lot of those, and there's, there's no reason for me to say you're entirely wrong and I'm entirely right. I'm in between, and I know there's this um, 
hypocrisy of me thinking, oh yes, they live lovely in a field, you know, hopping and skipping, and then to my plate, it's absolutely fine. There is a lot of horror in between. Uh, and how to spare that up with a choice to eat meat, I see that argument completely. Um, and it's something I will look into more. Um, will I become a vegan? I, I think probably not, to be honest with you, but it's something that I will try, you know, I've, I've tried to reduce my meat intake and things like that. Not from a moral basis, but also because I, I don't like to eat so much meat anymore. But you've given me the opportunity to look into it, and I appreciate that, and I thank you very much. When you're much. not vegan, mm. you are supporting unjustifiable suffering on a mass scale, something that's inconsistent with the, the values of your own religion and values of being a decent person. A until you are vegan, you're not really doing your best in civilised society to avoid rights violations, suffering of the innocent beings, mass killing, something that's an abomination to not only nature but God himself. Okay, I respect that uh, point. I will just give a well, few points. Well, well, well I'm just, I'm just yeah. making my finishing point. This is, yeah. what, what, I, this is what I truly believe yeah. through what I know. Yeah. Um, and no one can force you to do anything. Yeah. And if you do answer to God one day, because you know, I think when you have a, the, the, the privilege to know you have the duty to act. Yeah. Right? And maybe it's just your conscience and you die and it's nothing forever. Or maybe it's your conscience in the back of your mind. You think, oh, maybe that is wrong. I'm going to tuck it away and then you face judgment. I don't know. That's not for me to say, but we've had the conversation. Yeah. And I think it was productive in the end, even no, though we got stuck at the start. Nothing it was. I appreciate you sitting down because it takes but confidence to Again, do that. even though I've been pushing back a lot, because I tend to when I get pushed at, um, yeah. vegans who are out there who've got the moral compass not to want to eat animals, it's something that I respect. I don't disrespect it. And people trying to get the message out there also, it's something that I respect. Um, but I also respect people have the choice, and I don't think necessarily eating meat is a wrong choice. Okay. But we'll agree to disagree on that. What's your name? My name's Joey. Joey. Gideon, it's been a pleasure to meet you, yeah? Nice to meet you, Gideon. Nice to Thanks for, good, yeah? Thanks for sitting down because it takes confidence to do that, mate. All the best. Take care. Take care. It's incredibly wrong. It's one of the most evil choices that we make on a day-to-day -day basis. It has the worst outcomes for animals you could possibly imagine. All of the most horrible things I've ever seen in my life happen in animal agriculture. Um, it's an abomination on every level. And we went around the, around the roundabout there with that conversation, but I think it was interesting. So 